Okay, hi everyone, it's Diane and um, I decided to do just three lucky dips today because I kind of feel like, okay, there was a bit of a break between uh, the last uh, people, lot of people who asked for them and me coming back and doing them. So some of those people, I'm not sure whether you're still watching because sometimes when I post lucky dips there isn't really a response and I understand that's absolutely okay, you don't have to respond, but um, you know, if there's really no response at all, <laughs> It makes me wonder whether you're actually seeing them. So I've decided to just pick three people who I see kind of commenting from time to time because for one thing, I know that those people are watching regularly and also I'm kind of feeling like we're energetically still in the loop together. So, you know, if I do do a reading and you don't don't feel that you have to share too much, um, it just, as long as you do see it, then it will, it will just feel right. So to be actually doing the reading and I hope that makes sense. And also it, I love like the feeling of this giving and receiving energy so if you're contributing and you're kind of commenting and you're bringing your energy here it feels better to be giving something out rather than just sort of throwing it out into a vacuum and um that's not supposed to sound like I'm telling people off it's just that that's what really feels right in terms of doing those readings because time and energy does go into doing them and um if I just feel I'm just kind of doing them just like for nothing it's um yeah, a bit weird. Anyway, right, so I'm just connecting now with Tony Walker. And Tony, your question was something to do with your creative writing. And um, I feel like I've gotten there because I was kind of focusing on that while I was talking. I know that seems weird, but I've already talked to my guides and let them know that that's what I want to look at first. So let's see. I'm going to give you three cards because um, just to make up for the fact that I'm only doing three readings, I'm going to do them three readings um, in a little bit of depth. So we've got laughter. So looking at the past, um, the most recent thing that's just gone past I'm looking at this and I'm feeling it's not just about laughter um, the card actually says laughter attracts unicorns and what my guides are saying to me laughter is laughter attracts creativity so you know that there have been times in the past when you felt more free you felt more joyful and you've been much more open to taking things less seriously and somebody's just said including yourself and they're saying take the weight off when it comes to the writing, take the weight of expectation away from it because sometimes um, you've managed to get yourself locked into a corner where you feel like it's something you should be doing or that it should be flowing better than this. But what is actually being said is lighten up about it. Just get back into enjoying it, remembering why you do it. I do feel actually that you're, you're, you've had quite a big creative burst recently though. So um, I'm just really being reminded being asked to remind you that that's where the creativity comes. It comes when you're in a space of lightness about it and surrender and you're being playful with it. And, um, and I also feel like you could write stuff that would be quite funny as well. So that's your first card. So um, draw on your character, somebody's saying to me, draw on your character as well as the inspirational factor because you have the great um, ability to be accessible and warm and open and to, to get a bit of a sense of fun in your writing. I have no idea what sort of writing you do. You've said creative and I'm just feeling that about it. So that's your first card. And the second card, right, so right now you've got Archangel Michael helping you. So, and the, the card says use the sword of truth to help the world so be very real be very truthful don't have any ideas in your head about how you should sound what voice you should have be original somebody saying be innovative and trust your originality trust your message trust the truth of you because that will be very valuable to someone one day okay don't dismiss any aspect of it open your heart and say well okay this bit might sound a bit weird it might not make any sense to me right now or rather I might not trust that it will make sense to anyone else but I'm going to still commit it to paper because I understand that everything I've experienced is valid and therefore if I'm going to be truthful about sharing my experience um, I need to be uh, open to the possibility that no one will ever get it as long as I say it as long as I say it because it's the truth and you know while staying playful with it 
because sometimes you know the most bizarre humor can come from sharing those truths that are a little bit uncomfortable and they're saying don't be afraid of those niggly little truths that are a little bit uncomfortable and I'm also hearing the word niggly quite a lot I feel like there's something niggling away at you um, to do with uh, a self-consciousness about how much you can or can't share and they're saying okay let go of the niggles okay because you can decide in the final edit what you will share but you will feel a release and a liberation in allowing yourself to be at least open in the initial drafts that will allow more of the flow of creativity in other words don't censor yourself so much okay and oh that's just beautiful. You've got Mother Mary for the third card, which is what's coming in now, the energy that's coming in now. So you're going to feel much more of the energy of the Divine Feminine. And I feel that this is something that you might have been petitioning for as well, because I feel that um, there's been a struggle within you that you've wanted to get into a softer and more compassionate way of expressing yourself. So this is being, this is coming into the mix as well as all the other things. And I see you reaching out to a lot of people through embracing this deeper, more compassionate aspect of your nature. So ask Mother Mary, call upon her, and she will be with you to support you and guide you in this opening. And somebody's just saying to me, there is going to be a massive opening of the heart coming soon, and that will have a huge impact on your writing. Okay, my love, so enjoy that. And um, that's your lucky dip for today. Right, okay, so the next person I'm going to do is Muffin. I'm going to do a reading for Muffin. And Muffin, you haven't asked a question. You haven't said anything at all. You've just said, yes, please. So I'm really just going to pick a couple of cards for you and just see what we get. So let's go for the most recent past. Activate your healing power. Right. So I feel like for you, there has been actually quite a surprising opening of your awareness of yourself as someone who's able to give more and bring more light into the world. Um, I feel actually with you as well, the heart opening a bit more. And I feel like I'm being taught uh, uh, January is being mentioned. And I know that was a very powerful doorway for most of us who are sensitive to these energies and I'm being told that since January since the beginning of January you've been feeling more of a calling to step out into the world with something that you want to give with more of a mission and your focus is less now on what you can get from life but and more on what you can give which is beautiful so your guides are really pleased about that and that's a really really important aspect of your awakening um, and the second card, purify your body. So this is right now, what needs to be happening right now. So whatever it is that you're doing, um, in order for you to activate this healing power further, you need to be much more aware of what you do in terms of what you put into your body. Somebody's saying to me, she needs to, is it she needs to sleep less or sleep more? I've never heard that, you need to sleep less. Um, but it sounded a bit like that. There's something confusing going on about sleep. So, um, it's like you're not getting proper sleep, quality sleep at night, and maybe that's making you feel sleepy during the day. I don't know, there's something around that. And I'm being told that one of the ways to shift that would be to look at what's going into your body. That will help you. I feel like there's almost, I don't know whether it's worry, but there's an overstimulated aspect. So if you're a coffee drinker or someone who has something stimulating going on around you, you're gonna need to energetically purify as well. So get yourself away from the activities that are overstimulating you. And um, and if it is anything that you're putting into your body, just be aware of. Um, so you can purify your body by purifying the activities around you, the energy around you, or you can do it by purifying what goes into your body. Um, they just wanted me to clarify that just in case you don't feel that you're doing anything wrong, you know, um, or that you can't make those adjustments yet with what you're eating. I feel like you're using food to cope at the moment with a stressful situation. Um, however, having said that, putting all judgment aside, there isn't any judgment there and they are aware of the anxieties and the, the particular temperature of various situations. Um, drink more water would be number one that would help you immediately to start clearing uh, these uh, anything toxic and to raise the vibration, raise your frequency by bringing in new consciousness and clearing away any old thoughts 
thought forms and habits. So purifying the body can be quite simple if you don't feel that this is a good time to have a juice fast or <laughs> you know anything like that. Just drink a lot more water and that will help you already. Things will calm down soon, don't worry. Um, and your third card, develop, uh, discover your sparkle. Well, I would say rediscover your sparkle because I feel as if the last six months you've been a little bit bogged down in a situation that's made you feel um, like you can't quite be in that sparkly place. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what this refers to, but there are there are aspects of your life that are actually uh, making it difficult for you to really, really connect with the sparkly aspects that you would have said that you had before. And um, I would say get through this phase and you know, do the water drinking. I feel like there's some kind of movement that you could do as well that would make you feel more uplifted and sparkly. Um, but that is really just a card that's saying that is coming back. That part of your life is coming back. Don't worry, this is a phase. Um, lots of changes around you. And I feel like one of the reasons that you're a bit unsettled is that there's no certainty about those changes yet. There's nothing, you don't have a clear map of the territory yet, if you understand what I mean. You're gonna have to somehow find a way to become comfortable with that and the sparkle will, will come back through you being able to liberate yourself from the need to know um, at every second exactly what's coming next. So I hope that's helpful to you. It's gonna get better is basically the overall message. And um, my final person I'm gonna pick is um, I Look Wine 1971. And um, you haven't got a question. I'm just gonna go with looking at what's currently here for you. Um, so entrepreneur, right. So the card actually says self-employment suits you, uh, suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyally by your side uh, to ensure your success in all ways. Sorry, the print's quite small. Uh, so, right. But the feeling I'm getting about this is, right, what really stands out here is this message that you work best on your own and for you to really trust that. So if you've had any questions about not being sure whether that's right for you or not being sure whether you can actually do it, and this is actually in the recent past, the position of this card. So I would say that that's really been on your mind a lot recently. And it's like, I don't know whether you've made the transition into doing that. If Feels as if it could be quite a new thing for you or something new is evolving out of it and you're quite you've been questioning whether you can actually do it and um, this card really is confirmation that what really works for you is to be working under your own steam to not have anyone telling you what to do and please trust that you can do it trust that you can do it and that you can maintain it okay if you're already there trust that you can stick with it and try to remember you know what it's like, what it feels like for you to have your time restricted, to have someone telling you what to do, to feel, uh, you know, to get on with um, with colleagues. I feel that there have been issues at times and I just want you to trust yourself really. So in the present moment, you've got daydream. So this is a really important card. This is a card that we can sometimes overlook because it just looks like it's about nothing. And that's really, you know, we get, we get that very wrong, the daydreaming thing, especially with our children when we say stop daydreaming you know well not us maybe but teachers sometimes in schools because a lot of the time when we're daydreaming or we think we're daydreaming or it looks as if nothing's happening we are actually receiving the biggest downloads of inspiration and information so this is a time where you need a new burst of inspiration regarding what it is you do or what it is you want to create or how to take it to the next level so allow yourself that time to really just not be quite so busy constantly. Get out into nature and just sit staring into a stream or, you know, staring at, uh, sit under a tree and feel its energy, feel its infinite nature. Let go of any ideas about having to decide now, having to get a result now and just trust your guides to come and to inspire you with some new idea or some new aspect of creativity that can help you to make this work. That's my feeling about this card and um, it says you will more easily hear and receive our messages if you daydream regularly relax and open your mind to receiving without directing your thoughts just notice any feelings visions or ideas as if you were watching a movie this is the seat 
of creativity okay so if you've been blocked at all whether that's to do with creativity or creativity around can I do it or not can I work for myself can I make a success of it trust that process let go your mind is too cluttered at the moment they're saying okay um, and finally ask which is a perfect energy for what's coming in now you will be learning how to pray how to ask for help in a very dynamic way and you will see the fruits of that you will see the results okay no prayer goes unanswered they just might not get answered at the time or in the way that we expect or would like them to and you are oh my god somebody's just saying to me you have you will have very soon a much clearer vision of your mission rather than a goal or a job or a career and just really trust that that's coming and also they're saying ask even for guidance if you feel at all stuck with which way to go next keep asking for the way to be shown all right i feel a bit of nervous nervousness around you i feel a little bit of uh, being uncomfortable expressing myself in public as well sometimes that comes with you and i feel like i want to encourage you because that could be a part of your mission that you're going to need to express yourself in public more okay that's it i'm going to leave you with that and um thank you everyone for listening to these i hope you've enjoyed them take care bye